I am assistant professor Urmi Shah from ITICT department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Up till now, we have covered the modulation part of chapter number 4 that is angle modulation technique. Now let's move ahead with the remodulation part of these frequency modulation and phase modulation technique. So in this session we are going to cover the remodulation part or the receiver and circuit of our angle modulation technique. So let's start with the remodulation part of angle modulation technique. So following are the topics which we are going to cover in this session that is FM demodulator circuits, then slope detector, then automatic frequency control. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session. So now whenever we are talking about frequency modulation one thing keeps in our mind is we need to change the frequency parameter irrespective of the amplitude and phase of our signal. So every time the frequency will be varying and amplitude and phase parameter will remain constant. So now let's see what are the demodulator circuits for FM modulation. So basically what is demodulation? Demodulation is an act of extracting the original information that is the bearing signal from a modulated carrier wave. Whatever signal we are modulating and transmitting it from transmitter end to receiver end. At the receiver end we need to retry that original signal which we actually transmitted. So that retrieval of information is known as demodulation. And basically a demodulator circuit is an electronic circuit which is used to recover the information content from the modulated carrier wave. So basically demodulator circuit will help us retry back the original signal which we transmitted from transmitter end to receiver end. So at receiver end we require a demodulator circuit. So now what are the types of demodulator circuits which are used in frequency modulation that we will see. So basically what is an FM demodulator circuit? An electronic circuit in which the frequency modulation or the frequency variations of modulated signal is converted into amplitude variation first and with the help of tuning circuit or tuned circuit they are originally retrieved or extracted back with AM demodulation circuit or AM demodulation technique like diode detector is known as FM demodulator process. So in this way we are going to retrieve back our original signal. Now moving ahead with the types of FM demodulators. Now demodulation is classified in many categories like firstly the FM demodulators are classified in two types that is direct demodulation and indirect demodulation. In direct demodulation we have four types of FM demodulation that is slope detector, balanced slope detector, Fuster Sealy phase discriminator and ratio detector. Following four techniques are the type of direct FM demodulation technique. Now again in another category we have the indirect FM demodulation that includes nothing but the phase lock loop concept. That is what we call as PLL concept. So basically FM demodulation is classified in direct and indirect. In direct we have four types. In indirect we have one type only. So this is the classification of FM demodulator circuit. Now let's move ahead 
with the understanding of how the FMD modulation process or how FMD modulation circuit works. So as we have discussed in the previous slide that basically in FMD modulation firstly we are varying the frequency parameter so as it is written firstly we need to have frequency variations then that frequency variations we are going to pass to the tune circuit from that tune circuit we are going to pass it on to the amplitude variation basically Due to the frequency variation, the tune circuit will convert that frequency variations into amplitude variations. And here basically once we are converting into the AM signal, we can use the AM demodulator circuit to retrieve our original signal back from FM demodulation. So basically over here, the FM variations are passed on to the tune circuit. Tune circuit is going to process the data into amplitude variation. So basically amplitude variations are needed over here or they are added into the wave to have the frequency variation in form of amplitude variation. And this frequency variations are having the amplitude variation in accordance to its present current wave only. So this is how the process of FM demodulation works. So basically we are converting an FM variation signal into AM variation signal such that we can have our amplitude demodulator circuits to have the demodulation of our amplitude variation signal. So this way the basic FM demodulator circuit works. Now moving ahead. So the basic FM demodulator circuit here functions in form of it is used to change the frequency deviation of the incoming carrier signal into audio frequency amplitude variations and this FMD modulator circuit is also known as detection circuit which could be insensitive to amplitude changes. So this thing we have to keep in mind whenever we are changing the frequency variations into amplitude variations there are chances that this detection circuit can be insensitive to amplitude changes. So this thing we have to keep in mind whenever we are performing FM demodulation. So this way the whole process works. Now one of the type of FM demodulator circuit is the slope detector circuit. Now you all can see over here this circuitry is having an FM source signal. From FM source signal it is connected to the RLC circuit. Basically what is the role of RLC circuit? RLC circuit acts over here as a tuned circuit. The role of tuned circuit is to have the frequency variations and convert them into amplitude variation. So that is the role of RLC circuitry over here. So this is a kind of FM demodulator circuit which we call as slope detector and slope detector is used as direct FM demodulator circuit. So this way we require a tuned circuitry that is a circuit in form of R, L and C parameters such that it can convert our demodulator circuit or detector signal into the original nested signal. So this is the circuit diagram of slope detector. Now let's move ahead with the waveform. These are the waveforms for slope detector. As you can see over here, this is the transfer characteristic for slope detector. This is the input which we have applied into our slope detector circuit that is our FM source signal. And in the output we are able to receive back the original output or original input which we have transmitted from the transmitter side. 
So this is the transfer characteristic for slope detector. So now let's move ahead with the characteristics of slope detector. Basically why slope detector is used? What is slope detector? So we have seen the circuit diagram of slope detector. From the circuit diagram we can observe that the output of slope detector is then applied to a diode detector with RC load of suitable time constant so that we can have our input or original signal back. The circuit is in fact similar to the AM detector circuit as it is followed by the RLC parameters. Now this is main characteristic of slope detector. Now what are the limitations? What are the drawbacks? Why this circuitry is replaced by the newer indirect FMD modulation circuit? So basically the limitations or the drawbacks of slope detector circuit is it is inefficient. It is inefficient means it is sensitive to some amplitude variation. As it is linear it is having a limited range of frequency only. It cannot go beyond a certain frequency range. So that is the first limitation of slope detector. Secondly, it reacts to all amplitude changes. So yes, there might be chances when your circuit will become sensitive to slight amplitude variation changes also. So in this case, this circuitry won't work. So this is the drawback of slope detector. Secondly, it is really difficult to tune. Why it is really difficult to tune? Because in the tune circuit, what are the parameters involved? R, L and C. Resistance, inductance and capacitor. These three parameters which are involved in the tune circuit, they must be tuned to different frequency and carrier frequency. So at that time, it will be very difficult to make them tune on one single frequency or one common frequency. So tuning part is really difficult as we have three parameters R, L and C. So these are the drawbacks or we can say these are the limitations of slope detector circuit. These are the reasons why we cannot use this circuitry. Further moving ahead with the automatic frequency control. Nowadays, the radio equipments are using the automatic frequency control concept that is the AFC concept. In AFC concept, we are having an automatic fine tuning that is AFT. This tuning material or this tuning method or circuit is automatically keeping the resonance circuit tuned to a specific frequency of an incoming radio signal. So in this case, we don't need to make it tuned every time. It will be tuned to specific frequency of incoming radio signal. So tuning is really easy whenever you are, we are using the concept of automatic frequency control. It is primarily used in radio receivers to keep the receivers tuned to frequency of desired station. So whenever we are going to the FM radio stations at that time we are using the automatic frequency control to keep all the receivers or radio receivers on same frequency or desired station on same single frequency. At this time the automatic frequency control concept is used. So this is how the whole demodulation of FM circuit, automatic frequency control and classification of FM demodulators works. In the upcoming sessions, we will be moving ahead with a new chapter that is chapter number 5 which will be dealing in depth about the AM and FM receiver circuit and we will be seeing the different classification of AM and FM receivers. Thank you so much for watching this session. Thank you.